It is Monday, January 18th, and this is Hot Topic, and tonight is about organization, so being organized for your business, all right? So um, not only are our module mates on sale, but now, um, which help you organize like your kitchen or your bathroom, toy room, camper, boat, whatever it is that you need to be organized. Um, we're also going to teach you how to um, keep yourself organized um, and your business. So uh, we're going to be um, sharing with you what we do um, to help with that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and let Miss Jessica start first. And oh, for those of you that don't know me, I am Amy Gardner and I have been doing this for mm, seven and a half years. It'll be eight years come April, which is crazy and amazing at the same time. Um, so anyway, welcome everybody and go ahead and Jessica and I'll let you start. Hi everyone, and I'm Jessica Gordon, and I've been with Tupperware now for, it'll be eight years in August. Wow. So tonight what we're going to do is share with you guys some ideas of how you can keep your big business organized, okay? So I'm a messy organizer, so you can take what you want, but I feel that these tips will probably help you, all right? So what I do is a couple of things, all right? So um, if you get on like Google or Safari or one of the browsers on your laptop or your phone, your smartphone, what you can do is search for like printable calendars. Okay. So I organize all my parties um, this way. All right. So I put all my hosts names on a blank calendar. All right. And um, for me to keep organized, I love using, I'll show it to you. Okay. So you can see how crazy I am. See all these pens and highlighters? That's how I stay organized, okay? So everybody has like a different color for their name and then I use the highlighters for different things and I'll share what those things are here in a minute. But um, so what I do is um, I have their names on here, okay? So once I create their party on Facebook, I highlight their name, all right? So I know that it's completed, all right? And then after I have it, um, set up and ready to go. Like I said, I highlight their name. And then once the party is completed and I have closed their party, I put a check mark on their name. All right. That's just for me to know, just to keep organized. That's what I use these printable calendars for. Okay. But you know, with some of the Facebook parties, um, we give lots of prizes away, right? And then you're booking parties from these parties. So what do I do to keep all those parties organized? Okay. So this is what I do. This is my messy system. All right. But it works for me. All right. Um, I use a notebook, <laughs> nothing fancy. <laughs> All right. And what I do is just put, um, like for this one, I just go to this one. It says October parties. All right. And I highlight it of course. Right. And then what I do is just put the hostess names on my notebook. All right. And I do keep them in order. They're in order for me to know during the month. Like the first one is my first party that I had set up. All right. On my calendar. All right. So they go together. And then once um, people and the guests start winning like gifts and things like that, I start writing their names under their name. All right. And then I also put like what gift did they win or what, like for instance, if I'm playing a guessing game, all right, I like to put on there, they won the gift from the guessing game. All right. Cause I also send like little um, notes to all my guests after the party. And I like to say, Hey, congratulations on winning you know, the gift from the, you know, gift guessing game. Appreciate you joining the party and I hope you enjoy your gift. And I had the, like the little gift and the um, package. All right. So this helps me stay organized, knowing exactly what they want to in the party. And then once I, um, um, I highlight their name. So the highlight is, um, so you're probably thinking, okay, so how do I follow up with them and things like that? So this is all a system guys. So I recommend finding the system that works for you. Okay. This is what works for me. All right. So I'm just giving you guys ideas. All right. So you may like some of it and you may not. So, um, after I send them a message, like I ask them in my parties uh, at the end of the party, what I do is tag everybody that won a game. All right. And then I ask them to message me to claim their prize. All right. So 
when they message me, I highlight their name. All right. So I know I've communicated with them. All right. And then um, at the end of the party, after they placed an order, because they always have to place an order to claim their gift. All right. In one way or another, whether it's joining my team or, you know, booking a party or placing an order, that's how they would claim their gift. All right. So when they do that, I put a check mark next to their name. All right. Does that make sense? So it's kind of, this is the system that I use to keep organized with all my Facebook parties I do. So let me go over that again. All right. So I have a printable calendar here that I write every, all my host names on. All right. And then once I create the party, I highlight their name on here, knowing that I already have it set up. All right. So then once this party starts, I use my little nifty, you can use a journal if you want, but I just use a notebook. <laughs> all right. And then I write all my host name in here. And then once folks start winning uh, prizes in the party, I write all their names down. All right. I write down the gift that they won. All right. And then, like I said, at the end of the party, I tag everybody. And then once they message me um, to claim their prize, I highlight their name, knowing that we communicated. And then once, um, I sh that's what it is. Once I ship the prize to them, I check mark their name. So I know that I have mailed or shipped their gift to them. All right. Does that make sense? I wanted to go over it again because I might've said it wrong the first time. <laughs> All right. So that's how I keep my Facebook parties organized. And with everybody winning um, gifts and things like that, that's how I do that. I use a notebook. Now for um, before yes. what I did, I also did this. So this is what I do now. Jessica, can I ask you a question? Yes. You said that that um, they need to place an order or join right. your team or whatever to get their gift. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you word that or how do you tell them that? Okay, I'll come back to that. Okay. Okay. At the end, I will come back to that and answer that for you. All right. Okay. So the other Thank thing you. I also did was, and I did this for many years as well, and I think Amy may have to do something similar, but I would actually buy one of these calendars, like these, um, what are they called? Organizers, right? <laughs> and um, I would get them at like Marshall's and they're only like maybe seven or $8. So I would actually use these and kind of do the same thing I did with these two separate things, but in one book. All right. Because in these, I'll show it to you real quick. And they have stickers in them too. Makes it really fun. All right but it's really messy because I'm really embarrassed to show you, <laughs> but um, it's okay. Don't judge me. <laughs> uh, let me see here. So you can see all the stuff I do. Oh yeah. So anyway, so here's the calendar part in this. All right. So the same system as I would do on the printable part that I just showed you. All right. But if you flip back, you can keep track of all your parties. They have like a weekly thing as well. All right. So you can kind of do like what I do in the notebook, just write all in the same organizer. Okay. And plus these have stickers on them and it's a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, I think those are the two things I have to share right now, Amy. I love that. And actually, so I'm going to use part of yours and in mine. So I have my little planner and I, I put in my planner, I have my, my, my month, right. With all my, my hostesses and, um, and their times with the parties and things. And I love the idea of actually putting underneath of their name, um, the, the people that are winning those prizes. So that's a, such a great idea. And that will help me keep that organized even better. So thank you for that. Um, now something I, uh, something else I do, and I use my planner for because there's notes in it. So I take notes and like when I, um, when I'm getting those outside orders and especially for like when we had our canisters, right? The canisters were on sale. And so pe random people were just giving me orders, or I had um, several different um, um, posts on Facebook for, for the canisters, all right? So this is just an example for this one uh, sale. 
So I take my notebook and then I write in my notebook and I use a pencil. That way, if somebody changes their mind or something, I can go ahead and erase it. So uh, I, that's what I do. And or um, so I write down my goal, first of all. So because you always want to write down your goal. So write down your goal. And then underneath of that, I wrote down the names of the people and how many of the canister sets they wanted um, and the color that they wanted. So I could keep it all in one space because otherwise, and not only is it, um, it's nice also to have everything in one spot. It is like for me, because I'm not always, I'm not in an office, obviously, look at me, I'm, I'm in my kitchen. So I, um, I take my office with me everywhere I go, especially when I'm um, with the kiddos at dance or something. I have my office, this, with me um, there. So I, if you are on the go like me, don't maybe don't have an office for, like that you sit and work in all the time, then you take it and have it in one space so that it's all together for you. So that is another um, little tidbit about how to organize your orders. Now, another thing, and I'm gonna actually show you because um, a lot of people um, don't, um, a lot of new people, newer people that only have the website and they don't exactly know like how to bring in those outside orders um or how to how to keep track of those outside orders like if you let's say you work in a hospital all right and you are collecting book orders from all those people that you work with at the hospital how can you keep that organized so when you i'm going to share my screen and let's see what let's see, should I should have put that down all right so when you you are in your party, okay, and you're putting in your orders. Um, you want to put them in um, by uh, individual, okay. So you can add um, each customer in here, all right. So then you can go to quick links, and then you can just keep adding new customer orders. Um, and if, for those of you that don't know, Quick Links is going to be like your best friend when it comes to placing your orders um, because you can go in there uh, and you can be, go into your party and this is what your party looks like and then go to Quick Links and just add a new customer order every time that you get new orders. And so this is one way of keeping your orders um, in in order <laughs> right <laughs> but uh just so that you you know who gets what especially then when you get your i'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing um especially when you are getting the box delivered to you and then you can open it up be like shoot who gets what you know um that's that's how you can keep that organized by having each individual name on there. Um, now you are still saving them shipping by it all going to one place. So they don't have to pay that extra $5 for direct ship. So, but they are still paying for it to be shipped to your house. All right. Um, and I'll always write down, like if you do, if you are taking those bulk orders for like one product, always write down who gets what, that way it doesn't get lost somewhere. So um, that is how we, I stay organized with my orders. Um, and you can, um, another thing that I do to stay organized. So, because right now, honestly, I'm doing, I'm doing a lot of parties, right? During the week. And so I don't want to have to go into my, uh, my Tupperware account for every time that I need uh, a link for their website, for their party links. So I have on my phone, I have uh, Samsung. I have a Samsung phone, right? So on, on my phone, I have Samsung Notes. 
And so in my notes, I keep um, a thing with all of my party links. See all my party links on there. I have to keep, I have to keep myself organized somehow, right? With that. And if you have lots of party links open, this is something that's, it's really nice. Um, if you don't have Samsung, I'm, I'm sure there's some other way of keeping them. Maybe if you have Word on your phone or if Apple, I'm sure has some sort of Apple notes, right? Do you, you have Apple notes? Okay. So, uh, but I title it party links and then I just go in and I write the person's name first and last name. Because, you know, I actually, this last two weeks, I've had two Hollies, two separate Hollies. So um, it's really nice to have that first and last name. Um, even for my mystery hostess parties, I put down mystery hostess and then the link. And then once I'm done with that link, then I'll go back in um, and I'll, I'll clean it up. So, and I... I actually, I need to go back in and clean it up because I've had a few parties that have closed out. So uh, that's another way of staying organized. And I actually, I have all of my Facebook party notes and that's for my hostesses, like what to, my, my word choices for my hostesses are in my notes and it's under hostess. Okay. And then um, uh, my, my party links, I have a different, uh, category for that. I have, well, I have a few different parties outlines on my, in my notes. So I, I was, and I, it's so, so funny. So I actually go into, I have like four different party outlines and I'll go into each of those and I'll grab different things. And I put those different things in my parties. So like tonight I, I did, I had it from four different parties, but it's because I'm, I'm learning. And so I'm, I'm still learning, you know, what, what to do, like, what is the best way for me to um, do this party? And so um, I take bits and pieces that I like, and then I keep the other pieces out, but I should just go in there and clean it up. Right. And so it's all in one spot, everything that I like. <laughs> So take, take note from me, do that. Um, and then I, I, I also have messages to send to guests. So there's um, during, uh, let's see, during the party, when they first join something and I'll, I'll share it with you. It's something that you could send them is just a thank you. Thank you for joining. And then the host's name, um, Top Bash. Please feel free to ask any questions, comment and play the games. The 30 minute party will be, and then you tell them when the party will actually be. Um, or if it's, if you do yours like spread out, say the party will be from today to whenever. And, um, and then say, I'm so excited that you're here. You know, just something short and sweet. And um, I started using effects on my messages. And tonight I actually had someone say, wow, how'd you do that? <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty funny. So, but anyway, I, I love the notes on here and, um, and different word choices are on here. So all, all of my outlines, everything is in one spot that I can just go in and copy and paste and change it up a little bit. So, but just remember to change it up, especially if you put in their names or hostess's name, make sure that you change the name before you post it because sometimes you forget <laughs> and that's okay, right? When that happens. So, um, and I do have reminders um, on my calendar for when, see, lots of reminders on my calendar too, for when I have my parties and different, um, different things. So um, that's how I stay organized throughout my parties as well. So now we are actually going to take questions from you guys and you can comment too um, in the chat. Jessica, have you seen any 
actual questions. Yes, but I want to piggyback on one um, thing that you okay. um, recommended. Um, since we're on Facebook, how I keep track of my links, and I love your idea, Amy. That's awesome with the notes and everything. But um, if you have Facebook Messenger, did you know that you can actually message yourself? <laughs> True. Oh. So I keep track of all my links that way. Since we're on Facebook, I just have to click over to the app and then I just um, copy and paste it from there. And then what I do is when I copy the Tupper Connect link on there, if you can see it, I don't know if you can or not, but what I do is just put their name by it. So I know whose link it is. Like that's Michelle's, okay? This one's Mary's, all right? So that's how I keep track of my Tupper Connect links. So just wait, 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 wait. I, that one went over my head. Oh, what did you do? <laughs> this is Messenger, like Facebook Messenger. Okay. So you can message yourself. Like how? You just find your name. Like if I go back here and you go mm -hmm. into the search where it says chats. Okay. See the top. Okay. okay. And what I'm going to do is just put my own name in there. So Jessica Gordon. Mm-hmm. I can spell my own name, right? And see, look, I came right on top. Okay, okay. So mm -hmm. then I just click on myself and that, and then you can just message yourself. So you're messaging yourself what? Oh, the Tupper Connect link for your parties. That's how I keep track of all my Tupper Connect links. Okay, okay. Yeah, and I just put their name beside it so I know exactly whose it is. So I don't want to copy the wrong one, right? So, right. so I just put their name next to it, so. Okay. And that's what we're sending out to people is that. Yeah. Link? So when you're creating the Facebook party and when you're setting it up, mm -hmm. right. And the description, you want to put their Tupper connect link in there. Okay. So they can order. Yes. Great questions. Anyone else has questions? And then Julie, to answer your question earlier, um, to claim their prize, I went ahead and just copied my word choices in the chat. So you guys can all copy those. So I like to give options. All right, so they have a choice what kind of prize they want to win. All right, so they can either pick a gift with their order, right? Or what else did I put in there? They can win $75 in guaranteed sales. And those $75 in guaranteed sales is from your um, party pool, okay? And then the next one is $15 towards one of the business kits or $15 towards the virtual kit, which would be free, all right? So those are the three choices that I give them. So if you, if say they win the $15, mm -hmm. uh, what? they're winning this, right? Or yeah. you say they pick it. Well, they, they may choose that $15 off, right? Okay. So say like, for instance, they want the large kit. Mm -hmm. How do you get that $15 to them or? Great question. So I refund it to them. So I let them pick their choice. So I give them choices. I say, I have PayPal. I have Vimo. Did I say that right? <laughs> Cash app. And um, I let them choose which one they like for me to refund it through. Okay. Anyone else have questions? You can ask in the chat too. I don't know if I've seen any, Amy. Let me scroll down. Thank you. You're welcome. Can you share your links, your links party outline? Oh, that was me. Yeah. Amy, I think. To, I to Amy. That um, was really, that was really good. I struggle with that because I'm always like, what am I going to say? You know, and the fact that you're putting it all in your phone is like, man, I could send you an offering. <laughs> that was, that's genius you know, to put it all in your phone, then all you got to do is kind of like copy paste sort of. But that is one of my real, I know I have to just go on ahead and just jump out there and do this, you guys. But I am so afraid of messing up and just like messing it up. Um. So what I suggest is just, just, just do it. <laughs> Be like Nike, just do it. No, I'm just kidding. But no, seriously, um, don't be scared because uh, it, it's not like nobody knows. Like those people that you're going to be having these parties with, they don't know what's right or what's wrong. 
you know? And so whatever you do is right. And whatever you do is you. So just be you. And I, I, I seriously, I use the copy and paste. So what is in the copy and paste um, group right now? I, I have that and I have it all broke down in my, my phone. There's a copy and paste group on Facebook. Um, and um, it is, uh, let's see, it, the, it's champion team copy and paste group. And so uh, it's a Facebook party that you just go in and you copy it and paste it. And um, Shar, are you in that group? Must don't be because I don't like, I don't think I get anything. I don't know. I might have. You were invited. I sent it to you in, um, in Messenger. Okay, um, great. Just Thank so you. that you can have the direct link um, there. Where are you? Thank I'll, you. I'll do that in a little bit. I'll send it to you. All right. Okay. So Thank that you. Uh, you have that direct link. But, and then I, I honestly, I just have, that whole thing written out and I save all of the pictures. And that's another thing that I, I have organized in my phone. So I have my, um, and I named it 20 minute party. All right. So it's an album, oh. 20 minute party. Oh. And then all of my pictures that I post in my party uh -huh. are in there. So it's easier to find once you go, um, you, you go in and you just. Is that boom. a special app? Um, I don't think so. It's just okay. in like, just in your phone. So okay. you have your, your different phone, like uh, the gallery. So um, like when you save pictures off of Facebook. Yeah. All right. So they'll go to a album on your phone and it'll say Facebook. And this is, I don't know, what kind of phone do you have? Uh, LG, but she's old, but. Okay, well, that's fine. You you have like a phone like mine. So um, you have your phone, mm -hmm. all right, with your pictures. Uh -huh. And you click on a picture, hold down on it. And it'll put a little check mark on it. And then you're going to go up into the corner. Uh -huh. Click on that. And then it'll say, copy to album, move to album girl so you're going to move it to an album and then you're going to create the album all right girl so yes it'll come up create so create awesome. your album and then you'll have all of your facebook party pictures in one spot did i tell you i love y'all we love you too so yeah i hope that i learned I hope how to create helps. an album yeah, there you go. And it's it makes life so much easier to be I organized. Have pictures. Right? I looked at it last night. It said fifty eight thousand pictures because I was looking for my son is forty three today. Oh. Anyway, so I was looking for pictures of he and I to post on his page, and it's what going on nine thirty. Thank God, God is California time because I ain't did it yet. So yeah. genius, girl, genius. Thank Yay. you. You're welcome. You are welcome. Awesome. We love helping you guys. We love it. <laughs> Any more questions? Here's that handsome young man, Jessica. Yeah, what was that? <laughs> He's like, can they see me? <laughs> Tell him to bring his little hi. cute self hi. back here. He's like, hi. <laughs> He's leaving. You got the yes. bomb diggity, mommy. No, yes, we love helping you guys. I love this. I love seeing you so happy, Char. That's awesome. <laughs> bring smiles to my face. All right, who else has questions? <laughs> and if you have an iPhone and Apple, you can do that too. You can create albums. I, that's exactly what I have for my Facebook parties too. So yeah, <laughs> so happy. I, I know, right? Albums. That's exciting. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, life changing, All right? right. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, <laughs> no one else has questions. Tomorrow night is um our uh, mega party, right? 
So invite your hosts and guests to that. And then Thursday is NCO at seven. And then we have Tupper Thursday at eight o'clock. So everyone is very welcome. I was reading everybody's comments. So everyone said, thank you, Amy. Um, some of them have to go. So what's a idea. quick question. What's going to be, <laughs> what's the difference between the mega party tomorrow and Tupperware Thursday? Oh, it's, oh, the mega party is a, um, it's a live party. So I believe it goes live on the studio page as well. So you can share that to your okay. Facebook parties. Now you could share it to your own personal page or into your VIP group. And then I believe who's demonstrating Nancy, who else was, I, I'm I not think sure. Yes, I think mm -hmm. they, I think Jenny said, Nancy, I yeah. forgot who else she said. Yeah. So they'll be demonstrating from our premium products. So anybody's invited. So they're, they're kind of doing the work for us guys. So that's awesome. So I definitely recommend even creating your own party, you know, invite some people to it and then um, you can share that live in there and they can watch it with you. Yeah. And then Tupper Thursday is our, used to be what our regular meetings were on Tuesday. We just moved them to Thursdays. Okay. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay. So it's more recognition. Right. Than anything. Demonstration, okay. training, recognition, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of recognition, mostly training and training. Yeah. Mostly training. All right. You are awesome. very welcome. Everyone saying thank you. So we'll see you guys next um, Monday as well at nine o'clock. Yeah. Well, thank you everyone nice. for joining. Thank All right. Have you. a great night. Thank Bye. you. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> I'm so happy.